everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm sharing my top 10 habits of being an organized person. Being organized is something that I enjoy and practice every single day. And since becoming a parent almost 10 years ago, I think I've developed a system that works for our family. So I hope you enjoy these 10 habits too. If you love this content or this video, I would love it if you give it a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, please consider subscribing to my channel. I post a brand new video every single Wednesday and I would love it if you're part of our community too. All right, now let's get into the top 10 habits of being an organized person. step is online shopping. I got into online grocery shopping when our kids were quite young and I must say that it's a huge time saver and definitely a money saver. I used to be the person who thought going to the supermarket without the kids or the husband and spending 30 to 60 minutes was my me time. But I soon realized that I was often buying things that was not in my shopping list. I was going over budget and I was definitely getting sucked into the strategic place marketing all through the supermarket aisles. So I stopped doing that and I can definitely tell you that I, def I can use that whole 30 to 60 minutes to do something else for me instead of running through the aisles trying to get everything that we need each week. We have our groceries delivered to us either on a Thursday evening or a Friday morning. We also choose the click and collect option, which is where we load all of our shopping through, choose the time when we want to go and pick it up. And we usually get a text 30 minutes before and then we just go pick up our shopping. By online shopping, I can sit on my couch after the kids have gone to bed and browse through every single supermarket aisle, see what's on special and grab the best bargain for us as a family every single week. All right, tip number one leads us on nicely to tip number two, which is menu plan and meal prep. So every Wednesday, I put through my online order and then I menu plan. When I plan, I plan everything that we need food-wise for the family. So kids' snacks every single day, our lunches and all of our dinners. I meal prep either between a Saturday afternoon or a Sunday afternoon. What do I mean by meal prep? So I either chop our veggies and I'll prep it for the week. I can um, chop our meat up or what I do is I just cook a few meals, especially to get us to Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, when it's really busy work-wise, you know, and the kids are in school, and so there's lots going on, especially if you have extracurricular activities after school. So I like being prepared, you know, take the stress off after a long working day. So I definitely like to cook a few meals. Now, the other thing that I also do is I sometimes do a batch cooking or I bulk cook, a meal so I double uh, the recipe so I have a portion set aside for the upcoming week and the second half of that in you know, a whole meal can go into the freezer so I can pull it out the following week or two weeks later and then there's a meal always on standby in our freezer for busy nights or nights when you know something comes up I can't get to cooking and then I can just go into the freezer pull out a meal and we're set for that particular night so that's what I what I do for meal prep my third tip is to get ready the night before. I think this is my favorite tip and I've also been practicing this for almost 10 years. So what, what does this mean? Every single night, so just around dinner time, you know, the dinner's done, the kids are playing or they're in their bath, I start planning for the next day. So I think about uh, any food prep that I need to do and you know, I can quickly put some non perishable snacks into the lunchbox, get the preschool bag ready for our son, put out their clothes, put on my clothes if I'm starting early. If you like to exercise in the morning, 
putting out your gym gear and getting every single thing in place. Sometimes if I'm in a really busy work week, uh, what I like to do is have pre-made oats. So I'd like to do overnight oats and you know, make that really nice and healthy and filling just to start my day. So everything is ready to go when the next day arrives. And if you have extracurricular activities after school and you need, know you're gonna be in a rush, that is something that I put out, like if it's swimming or sports, put that out in a place where your son or your daughter can come back after school, have a snack, get ready, and everything is just sort of like flowing through and you're not screaming, you know, and trying to get everybody out the door. So get everything ready the night before. And if you feel your morning or your day is really chaotic, I highly recommend this step. And I, I can tell you that you will message me and say, you know what, hey, I tried this and it's working for me. Something that I also always do if, uh, if I have time in the morning is I think about what's gonna happen after I come back from home. Sometimes just even putting the pajamas um, on the bed for our kids, a bath towel, get everything ready for them just you know it's really nice to come back to after a long day my fourth tip is setting routines often when we talk about routines we think that it's only children that need schedules and routines in their life you know to get them going but as grown-ups parents young professionals sometimes just having a routine helps us to stay organized so one routine is having a morning routine for us as a, as a mom as a dad a young professional that might be just to like you know wake up 15 to 20 minutes earlier than your child so that you know you can quickly get dressed something that I have practiced over the years. You can quickly drink a cup of coffee in peace, have some quiet time, and you're in a great mental space when your children wake up in the morning you know, and are eager to start their day. The other thing that I like to do is have sleep routines for our children. And as our kids are getting older, that is something that we're not removing, especially over a weeknight, because kids need their sleep to cope well during their day. And sometimes when my husband is away at a social event, you know, with his friends, and I'm with the two kids alone, I change the evening schedule a little bit. So I move sleep time 15 minutes earlier. And the kids don't complain, but we kind of like stick to that routine and say, okay, we're gonna eat dinner now, and then after that we're doing bath time, and then we're gonna start the you know, bed routine, and then we can play a little bit, and then it's sleep time. And then it, the kids like these routines instead of living in a very chaotic life in a way they're not sure what we're doing and they're not sure what they're supposed to be doing. So setting routines, you know, creates a very calm environment in the house when you have young children and you will soon start to realize that your kids are all over the place when you have a routine it really helps them to stay calm focus and get on with their day my fifth tip is to write lists i know we are living in a very tech savvy world so people don't really write anymore and you might put it on your device your phone However you do it, I highly recommend this tip. You know, so you can kind of like get to places on time, remember to do things. I like to handwrite my list and, you know, it's kind of like use a black Sharpie and tick it off or it's kind of like cross over it. And it kind of gives me a lot of joy when I say, yep, I've done this list. The next step is to invest into a cleaner. A few years ago, I noticed all of these professional home cleaning deals online and we decided to give them a try and soon we started getting into the habit of getting someone in once a month or once in two months to just blitz through the entire house. I personally love cleaning our home so I didn't really want to let it go completely but lately just in the last couple of years I realized getting a cleaner in is a great investment because it means that I can just have a few hours to myself to do something for the family or record this video or perhaps just you know uh, take some me time instead of taking several hours cleaning the house so at the moment I have a cleaner who comes in fortnightly and I can tell you that it's no longer expensive so do ask your friends who have cleaners and say hey can you recommend your cleaner to come around and you know clean my house and get make some connections, get someone in and take the time off to invest in yourself. Just talking about cleaning leads us on to the next step, which is 10 minute tidy, or you can call it speed tidy or family tidy. I just couldn't decide on which title, so but let's just go with 10 minute tidy. So at the end of the day, when dinner is finished, you know, the kids are lounging on the couch or they pull out all the toys and it's almost ready to, to go to bed. Instead of sending them off to their bedrooms, just say, 
Hey guys, we're gonna set a 10 minute timer and we're gonna quickly reset the space. Getting our kids involved in, in our day-to-day -day cleaning and household chores is a great life skill that they'll be picking up and will definitely use as they are grown up. So as parents, encourage your kids and involve them in house cleaning. Sometimes they might be grumpy, but new, do know that what you're involving them and what you're teaching them is going to help them one day. My next tip is the party box or the gift box. As parents, we're often rushing around trying to find the best present so that our kids can take it to the parties that they've been invited to. When our daughter was about two years old, I remember walking through an aisle in the store called The Warehouse here in New Zealand, and I saw all of these you know, cool deals on toys and some baking kits and different things that kids would love. From the time that she was two years old, I, I've always been looking around for good deals on toys or books or stuff that kids would love and now I have this little box that the family doesn't get to I have it in a, a secret location in the house and I always have like books or little treats for different ages of children that we know whether it's a present that I need to put together for a birthday party or it's a present that I just want to get for no reason at all I have things handy and ready to go similarly I also like to buy uh, birthday cards you know it, it doesn't have to be for a boy or a girl but I just buy like kid birthday cards or adult birthday cards and I have them handy so you're never you know, having to rush around everything is sorted and usually when it's a birthday invitation comes around to our house I immediately go and check the box I see is there something that I've got and often I do and I just have to buy something tiny to add to it and you know it makes a perfect present that my daughter or my son can take to a birthday party my ninth tip is quiet time. Now we can do this for both adults and children. So let's start off with the adults. So quiet time is pretty much setting aside some time in a good space in your day. So it's for some of us, it could be early morning. For some of us, it could be when the baby has gone to sleep or right after lunchtime or after the kids have gone to bed. Choose the best time for you and set that time aside 30 minutes, let's start with 30 minutes for you to read, for you to journal, for you to listen to something that invests into your life, just to you know, meditate, pray, whatever you want to do. So that's for the adults. Now let's bring kids into the picture. Quiet time is a great time where you can take 30 minutes on a weekend or before they go to bed and say, hey guys, it's quiet time now. Everybody go to your room. You know, you can read, you can play quietly with your toys and then they can just sort of like have a, a 30 minutes of just calmness. You know, you, if you want, you can play like really nice still music in the house. And as a parent, if you think you're struggling to do household chores, when you put you know 30 minutes down on the clock for a quiet time for your children, that's when you can get to a meal prep or you can actually drink a cup of coffee by yourself if it's been chaotic and you know just everybody will have a really chilled out time so highly recommend quiet time choose the best time that suits you and think about you know how you as an adult can incorporate that into your life and finally the last step that is make time for self-care whether you are a mom you're a dad you're a working professional young adult I'm not sure what stage you're in whether you're a grandparent it's really important that we plan some time for ourselves you know often people might say oh that might be going to the gym you know you could do a workout at home it could just be sitting still and you know having some quiet time like I just mentioned or going out to get your nails done hair done some shopping therapy meeting a friend reading a book putting a face mask on whatever it looks like for you I want to encourage you to make sure you every single week that you take time to have some time for self-care sometimes I just sit on the on the other side of the house away from my kids I don't have to go out to do anything else that's all that I need and my kids know and when I say hey do what hey guys I'm just sit, I'm taking some time out so you guys sit and you know you play or you watch TV don't come interrupt me for a little bit and the kids let me do it so i highly recommend that you take some time as you plan this week to you know invest to do your life by just setting aside some time for self-care that brings us to the end of this video thank you so much for watching and sticking around but before you go i have a question for you i want to know which of these 10 habits stood out to you and if you are planning to try 
any one of these steps or five of these steps or all 10, can you let me know in the comment section below? Because as I mentioned before, every comment, every feedback is very helpful to me. So let me know which top tip you're gonna try this week and implement in your family. All right, guys, I look forward to seeing you with a brand new video next Wednesday. Until then, take care.